What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl. So today I want to talk about um, this gang from Brooklyn called the Bully Gang. And it seems like they busted a few members. Well, a lot of members, but we're going to talk about what's in front of me right now. Leaders of a Brooklyn crew called the Bully Gang were busted for murder, racketeering, drug running charges by the feds, including a killing at one of their own baby gender reveal party. Derek D. Ayers, who's 37, Malik Mo Money, Harrell, 34, Franklin Spaz Gillespie, Gillespie, 33, and Anthony Biggie Kennedy, 38, were charged on Tuesday after a 13-week trial based on a years-long investigation into their criminal activities, which range from murder to distributing dangerous drugs across the East Coast and into Rikers Island. Now, their criminal Enterprise is a shell of the violent crew that wreaked havoc on Bedford Stuyvesant. Well, honey, we call that Best Stuy or the Stuy. All right, we don't call it Bedford Stuyvesant. <laughs> okay, unless B gonna say live for Bedford Stuyvesant, the live is you know what I'm saying. We don't we say Best Stuy or the Stuy. All right, other parts of New York City and the Eastern Seaboard with murder. Broad daylight shootings, robberies, arsons, drug trafficking, trafficking and bribery, said U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of New York, Breon Peace. Now, Malik was one of the founding members of the gang and its leaders before his arrest, while Derek and Anthony were served as longstanding and high-ranking members. Franklin was one of their enforcers who used violence to get what they wanted, according to prosecutors. Hmm. Now, Ayers was convicted of murdering Jonathan Jackson, a member of a rival gang called the Stooks Crew, at a gender reveal party for Harrell's own child in 2018. He, along with Harrell, was also convicted of conspiring to kill others associated with rival gangs. Gillespie was convicted of conspiring to murder Mike Hawley to prevent him from informing police about a murder in April 2020. Mike was killed four days after he spoke with authorities. The crew of dangerous gangbangers also distributed powerful drugs like cocaine, fentanyl, and heroin across New York and New Jersey and as far north as Maine, prosecutors said. They ferried the drugs in hidden compartments professionally installed in their cars. That's an old school move right there. That's very old school. I didn't think people were still doing that kind of stuff. One of their schemes involved soaking comic books and other paper products with synthetic marijuana compounds and then smuggling them into Rikers. And I'm trying to think, how, could, how is that possible to do? Soaking comic books and other paper products with synthetic marijuana compounds and then smuggling them into Rikers Island. Mm. Once the drugs were inside the prison, Connected inmates would sell the product to other prisoners. Now, Harrell and Kennedy continued running their operation out of Rikers while they were incarcerated inside, according to prosecutors. The four are the latest 49 bully gang members to be convicted of series of serious crimes in 2020. These convictions put an end to the reign of terror committed by this gang, shattering the myth that criminals can commit atrocious acts without consequences said the alcohol, tobacco, and firearm special agent in charge Miller. Each faces up to life in prison with minimum sentences ranging from 15 to 55 years. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. That's crazy. Now, I spoke about this because um, somebody has sent me an email and they requested me for the talk to talk about this and they want to know how I feel, you know, what was my feelings about it. I feel like 
you know, listen, I grew up in a time where, and this could be a throwback. If you're from New York, you know what I'm, you know what I mean about all of this. Um, I grew up in a time where we had posses, right? Little posse or crews. You get what I'm saying? And you had the, 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 the low crew. Okay, they was called low. They were called a low gang. You had the low gang. You had the Decepticons and the Decepticons. You had, <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but that's what we had. And, you know, they were doing little stuff, but not, I don't think nothing like this. Now, the low gang, they were fly. They always dipped in polo, okay? They always dipped. They was dressed from head to toe in polo, all right? I never heard of them doing anything malicious. Now, the Decepticons and the Decepticons, they used to hang around Franklin Avenue over there by Prospect Heights and Clara Boynton High School, all right? You know, I used to go to Sal's on the corner, that little uh, restaurant, Sal's. And get my food and then go to school because the school was right around the corner okay um i remember they used to also be inside the bagel shop that was on the left across the street from Siles. and in that bagel shop it was a husband and wife that owned that bagel shop and i would go in there and get my bagel with butter and jelly hot okay heated all right so it's but that was the only posse gang that I knew about but as years you know move on and things become different you hear about other things but honey these gangs and 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 crews honey they are not they are just a total different thing than what I'm used to even growing up with you feel what I'm saying so yeah but this, these games this in this day and age is different you know it's a different time a different era just like we have social media we didn't have social media growing up you know everything that was done there was no social media to share it people either heard about it or you didn't hear about it you get what I'm saying so it was like I lived in a different time but I just wish you know that all this gang activity stopped because it's basically taking your life away you, you know what I'm saying it's taking your life away you want to be on this earth for as long as you can you want to make something of yourself or you want to do something but when you're a part of a game a lot comes with that and if you're not about that street life you would not make it for very long okay it takes a certain type of person with a certain type of mentality to be in this you know, and not everybody has that, but you know, hey, it is what it is, right? Times has changed. Times has really changed from when I was growing up and I'm seeing everything differently. You know, I talk to my sons and they be like, mom, this is what's going on in the world. You know, they. Even when I saw a picture of their guns, I was like, I had to ask my son, oh, yo, what is this at the, what is this right here? And they told me what it was. And I was like, I was like, wow, they doing that now? <laughs> you know, I was just shocked. I'm not going to show the guns on here, but you know, they was like, my, well, this is this kind of gun, this, this kind of gun, and this is that. And I was like, wow. I was like, I, this is like not my world, honey. This is not my world. The only way I know something about what's going on, if, if they tell me, and sometimes they tell me, mom, you don't need to know about that. Or if I read about it, or if somebody asks me to speak about it. But you know what? All I have to say is I don't judge anybody. We just live in a, I live in a different time, in a different world. Okay. And there's a lot of things out there that I just don't know about and I don't keep up with. You know, I, I'm just starting to talk about the YSL trial. And the reason why I started talking about the YSL trial because little Woody was, ex he was hilarious. And, you know, watching it on TV, he was hilarious. And that's why I really started getting into it. I always peeked in every now and then, but I just really started following because of little Woody, because he's, he's funny. But, um, Mm, 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 mm. 
and that for you know and not too long ago I heard of uh another bus. Uh, another gang bus I heard. So I might talk about that as well. I don't know. But it is what it is. You know, everybody lives a different lifestyle these days. Everyone lives a different lifestyle these days. But anyway, you guys, let me know how you feel about all of this in the comment section. And I will talk to you guys later.